Dazzlers, welcome back to Daz Games, and a game called The Town of Light. Um, apparently, this is um, kind of a horror game, but it doesn't evolve around jump scares. So don't be hiding in the comments, alright? Be here with me. It's apparently a story-driven um, game. It's, it's got a lot of great reviews, um, and it's supposed to be something that uh, everyone needs to experience. So uh, let's go in and experience this. Okay. The Town of Light is based on real facts and places, as well as long-documented sentimental illness and the life of patients in a lunatic asylums from the beginning of the 20th century until their closure. It contains stories which may be disturbing, and we advise its use exclusively by the public of adults. The characters and names and imagery and references to people who may have really existed is entirely casual. This game uses artistic inspirations of former Italian psychiatric installations from dramatic pro- Okay, so this is basically about, um, insane asylums from the 20th century until their closure. Okay. So it says it might be disturbing, so... Take that in- take that on board, guys. What's happened? I don't know. What kind of place is this? Maybe I'm dead. I can't see any light. I might be dead. I can't get up. What's going on here? What's happening to me? Oh, man. There's no one here. Yet, these noises. God, my head is killing me. I can't keep my eyes open. Okay, I'm, I'm, I may be terrified. Reality fades away and my skin is gone. Every breath of wind is exhilaratingly painful. So I think this game is going to delve quite deep into mental illness. Um, and maybe what uh, asylums might be like. It might be an asylum simulator. <laughs> I, I don't know. Um, I'm getting eerie, eerie reminiscences of Outlast right now. Inspired by real facts and events. We know this! Oh. Oh, wow. Tuscany, 2016. Oh, wow, this game is stunning. Do I have feet? I don't. To open and close, use... Okay. Oh, wow. Oh man, this is so relaxing already, like... Okay. Ooh. Alright. Alright, I got a flashlight. So, I've been told that this is not a jump scare game. But, I'm not believing it. <laughs> until, until I see it. Okay, so we got like some sort of greenhouse here. On a really nice summer's day. Oh, a radio. Okay. Oh, okay, we can look at it. Well, that's a wonderful radio. Fridge. Ooh, oh, what's that? Pan zoom. Excellence in story and storytelling. Game European. Okay, so that's some sort of award. I think. There's nothing else in here. Now, as this is a game about mental illness, like, all these games, they always play with my mind. Like, I always think, is this real? Is this happening? Is this just from a perspective of uh, madness? I I'm not sure. But if this is madness, it's, it's quite nice. This is like an old play park. Oh I, oh, I can sit on the swing. Oh! Oh, I like the park! Okay, let's get off. I've had enough of this. Can I go down the slide? Oh my god, we can go down the slide. This is the best game ever. Game of the fucking year! Woohoo! Oh yeah! Oh man, what was I thinking? I love this game! I can sit in the park, I can... Can I go on the seesaw? Oh, please let me go on the seesaw. Holy shit, I can go on the seesaw! Oh! <laughs> oh no! What's gonna happen next? I'm gonna go down! Ah! Oh, ah! Oh. Woohoohoohoo! That was fun! I had fun! We're having fun. Can I play in the sandpit? Ah, oh, shit. Maybe not. Oh, can I sit on here? Oh, my God. Does it still go around? Yes, it does. Oh, <laughs> whoa. 
<laughs> oh man. Ah. Oh. oh, I feel a little bit sick. Ah. <laughs> oh. Okay, I think I'm getting way too into this game. <laughs> okay, so that way seems to be blocked off. Uh, let's go this way. This place, this looks nice. Well, I'm so glad they let me on the rides. Whatever this place is, it's very run down. Okay. Ooh. A candle place. No. Oh. Well, I can't go this way either. Uh, let's try going in this smashed up greenhouse. Maybe there might be something in here. Very good atmosphere, this game. I feel like I can feel the heat of the sun. What's this? Oh, a rake. Hello? Is anyone here? I don't understand. Oh, I've still got my flashlight on. That's wasting batteries. Man, look at all the detail in this game, man. It's sick. Oh, oh, what happened? Uh, Alright, I think it might have just been a little bit of lag. Well, this is all very nice, um, but kind of want to maybe speak to someone now. I mean, getting pretty lonely. Let's go all the way up the path and, and see what we can find. There's got to be a way out of this area, right? I mean, this can't just be the game. <laughs> okay. Right. Um, hmm, I can't move anything. Is it, oh! Alright! The door opened. Fair enough. Apparently someone's playing a piano. Ah. Uh, this is like the credits. We're playing the credits. No! People ringing me when I'm walking through the fucking park. How dare they? Okay. Oh, what's this? It's like a church, isn't it? Or is this the asylum they were talking about at the beginning of the game? I don't know. Ooh. Oh, I could have got through there. Okay. Just expecting everything to make me jump. I've been told it, it won't. Place. Time. Memory. Okay, J to access the synopsis menu. Okay. Memories. No memories. Medical records. No documents yet. Experiences. What happened? What kind of places? Maybe I'm dead. Alright, so that, that, that keeps all the... T okay. Okay. Um, that's basically a collection of what we've seen and heard, right? Can we go in here? Do I want to go in here? That's the fucking question. Okay, yep, we can. Alright, I'm going to use my flashlight. Ooh. Okay, what's this? Ooh, okay. Inventory, patience, personal effects. Okay. So this is going to be a game that's pretty much all about um, looking at things. So if you're not a fan of these games, then uh, it's probably not going to be for you. The atmosphere is incredible. What's in here? Oh, God, I really don't like it. Can I turn the light on? There's no power. Hmm. Evidently not. Okay. Alright, death certificate of a patient. Okay. So this place is clearly abandoned. And I guess we're going to uncover its past. Oh, the sound is so good. <laughs> What's this? Document remitting a patient. Okay. Alright. I'm still struggling to find out, like, the points of being here and what this may uncover I think if I uncover memories I think maybe we might go back to when this place was working okay all these aren't really making any sense to me let's just go forward shall we the only thing I remember clearly is Charlotte my doll 
Oh, well, um, love, there's no dull here. Is she, like, revisiting this place then? Was she a patient? Ooh. What? What did I do? Oh, fuck. Okay, well, I've just turned something on. It is not on. forbidden. Let's find Charlotte. All right. All right, love. We're going to find Charlotte. Don't worry. Oh, crap. Man, I feel completely immersed right now. What's this? Oh! All right. It's a slideshow. Can we do are there, are there more slides? Okay. Huh. Is that this place? I guess it is. Well, I like slideshows, but uh I'm not gonna really rate that one very highly. Okay. That's a lift. We won't go down there yet. Can't sprint in this game. And if it's not a horror game, then I guess there's no need to sprint. We don't have to run from things. This might be the first horror experience I might enjoy. Okay, so these rooms, I mean, they're pretty much filled with... Uh, the thing is, in these games, I, I, I get tired of like looking at absolutely everything. And then I skip shit. And then I, I, I lose. Alright, let's, uh, let's see what's down here. Could have taken the stairs, but you know what? That's what lifts are for. For lazy people. Like myself. Alright. Let's go in, shall we? Uh, yeah. Should we go first floor? Yeah, let's go first floor. Menswear! This is quite cool, isn't it? It's like a... Abandoned simulator. Gravy. Oh, wow. You know, for an insane asylum, I don't think they should have painted these on the walls. Just looking at them makes me feel like I'm mad. Okay. Let's search the wards on the first floor. There's a plan on the wall which shows where the various wards are located. Okay, then. Gravy. Alright. So, we're here. Everything's in a different language. That doesn't fucking help me at all, does it? Okay, what was this? Oh! Is that her? My doll. Mummy took good care of Charlotte. She tucked her in, hugged her, gave her cuddles and kisses. She was very affectionate and loving. Nothing bad happened to Charlotte, and I was amazed. I did not understand. At first, I was quite afraid. I feared that she wanted to hurt me. I was constantly expecting the moment when Mum would abandon her. Because I did not deserve to live. I did not deserve to be loved. Um, alright. It's cold. It's dark. Now she's cold. She'll get ill. We can take care of her. It's not forbidden. Charlotte is a good girl. Okay. So what do you want to do? Do you want to... Oh, wow. That's interesting. Oh, great. Well, this is a lovely book of death. Okay, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna, just gonna stop that now. Uh, so where, where do I put her? Do I put her back? Okay, let's, let's put... Oh! Okay. What's this? Can someone help me with this doll? What, what Those I... lamps might make the room warmer. But Charlotte's uncomfortable. She doesn't feel well. She's a doll, love. Um, okay. I, she doesn't feel well. Are we going to have to operate on her? I, I, I mean, I really don't know what you're expecting me to do with the doll. Uh, you know? Charlotte is cold. Let's find her a warm place. 
Okay, we'll do that. This is not a good place for Charlotte. She'll be cold here. Okay. <laughs> I don't I don't really know what to do now. Maybe we put her on the bed. I saw a wheelchair on the ground floor. It's a convenient place and we can get Charlotte into a warm place. All right. Okay. There, there it is. There's a wheelchair. All right, Charlotte, we're going to pop you in here. And um there we go. This is a comfortable place for Charlotte. Yeah, bless her. But it's cold. No, no. It's cold. Don't shiver, Charlotte. The cold will go away. I, I just, you know... <laughs> Alright, I, I guess if we... Take her upstairs... We're gonna take her upstairs and put her in front of the lamps. That'll be good, right? Let's, uh, call the lift. So, Charlotte, the lift is coming. Okay, we're gonna... Why am I talking to the doll? Why am I talking to you? You're driving me insane now. Okay, let's, we're gonna put you in the lift, and we're gonna get upstairs, and you can thank me later. So irritating right now. Okay, right, get in there. Stay. Alright. Put you in there. Alright, you're going up. Oh, shit. Alright, I've gotta go up now and call it up there. Hang on, Charlotte. We're going to get you up here. All right, here she comes. Success! All right, come here. It's the shit I do for this doll. Honestly. All right, let's... um. All right, we're going to go down here now. And we're going to take you to the place where the bulbs are. Which I don't actually think are down here. Are they down here? Oh, yeah, it is here. Okay. Here we go. The cold goes away, you see? There we go. The light. Warmth. We can do it. The cold goes away. It's not forbidden. Now yeah. we can go to that ward where everything started. Okay. Help. It all began in the observation ward on the ground floor. Okay. So we're going back down now, yes? All right, I'll take the stairs because it's quicker. Oh man, this is getting real right now. Observation ward. Where the hell's that? All right, here we go. Found it. Oh. Oh God, Ziri. What have I taken? Oh shit, there's no floor. Can I jump? Alright, no. Whoa! Oh man, this is trippy. This is so trippy. Ooh. <laughs> what the fuck? Okay. Oh, shit. Okay. I don't understand. Why is the, the hospital all bendy and twisty? Okay, beds. Beds are good. I like beds. Just not in creepy, twisty buildings. Like this. Alright, there's, there's, there's light at the end of the... One day I turned off the light, but it didn't go dark. It was a limitless immensity, a blinding, merciless light. I was 16 and I was afraid, always afraid, a fear that wore me down. I needed help, but I could not speak. Everything terrified me, even thinking. They said they were taking me to a place where the fear would go away. Where I would get better. I stopped living in there. They dragged me away and tore off all of my clothes. Every last stitch. 
I tried to explain what was going on in my head. They tied me to the bed for days, alone with my nightmares. It wasn't fear anymore. It was madness. And when you're mad, you cease to exist. Okay. Is this about that doll? Dolls are creepy. Why would you own them? Jesus. Oh. Okay. So this is, um, in the ward, I take it. Hey, excuse me. Could you, could you help? She was my only hope in this hell. I was falling down amongst the damned. But that woman and her smile kept me alive. Um, I don't like her. No one smiles at people like that if they don't mean harm. <laughs> oh. Okay, now we'll be, be, be back to now. All right, this is now, I take it. Chapter three. Okay. Um, let's see what's through the door. The door's door. locked from the outside. Here, the doors can only be locked and unlocked from the outside. Okay. That kind of doesn't help our situation. Oh! Well, I, I could go back to sleep, right? That That's an option. Oh, fucking hell. Oh. Oh. God, this is unfair now. <laughs> Shit. 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 What's this? Nurse's room. Locked. Everything's bloody locked! Map. Oh, oh, okay, look, I can actually, I can actually see it in English. I'm so stupid. Can I turn the light on? Ooh! I can. I'm not going to go down there just yet. We'll have a look in a minute. What's down here? Oh! Oh, God! Who set that up? Oh, mother of shit. Mother of shit. Ah! Uh, what's gonna happen? Oh, okay. Another flashback. Oh, I can move. Hi. I'm, I'm just gonna... Oh, man. Oh, shit. Who the hell's he? Oh man, it's messing my vision up. Where's he gone? What? Hello, strange man. Okay. He laughed, panted, latched over me. It hurt when he touched me. I thought I'd split apart suddenly with a loud thud, shattered oh into pieces. I felt fragile, sick, dirty, filthy. All I could do was clutch Charlotte tightly while he... Rene obeyed. He was the boss in the realm of light. I was devoured by the evil I had done. I threw up and could feel hell getting closer and closer. My god, those medical examinations. 
the doctors said there was something inside me, which they would have dragged out of me. My god. Wow. I mean, you hear about these things. The fact that it, you know these sort of things went on, you know, is um, it's awful, isn't it? Really, I think this game is um, gonna start uncovering a lot of like stories like that. I'm gonna leave that one there. Uh, very interesting game. Uh, I call these like games, like horror games, that use the atmosphere to not only tell, tell a story. But to frighten you, like, uh, no one wants to walk around an insane asylum, um, even an abandoned one. <laughs> I've done it before in real life, and it's, uh, it's just a scary thing. But, um, it's going to be telling a lot more stories. Um, I think it, it's had, like, a slow intro, but with the past couple of stories, I think things are about to pick up, and we're about to uh, uncover, um, a lot more stories. And the fact that these things, uh, happened, like, these are true stories, um... It's, it's going to make it both difficult to watch and also uh, interesting to, to see. Like, uh, this is a very interesting game. I'm enjoying this. Let, let me know what you think in the comments. Uh, like this video if you, if you want me to do part two of this. Because uh, I, I certainly would like to. And uh, like Love Chris, my channel. And I will see you in the next video. Stay dazzling. Ha! <laughs>